said you hit and you hit and you hit me with your words, your behaviour, you dried up wicked old witch and you think down. I'm going to come back for more? And she said, no, I don't. There's the door. Look, why don't I make us a nice cup of tea? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not easy. You asked. I didn't have anyone to talk to. You were right there, you see. Yes, well, just calm down, eh? Calm yes. down. Yes, it's all right. I'm calm. I'm calm. I said, I'm not going to dust myself off and come back for more. I'm not going to let you treat me like a punch bag over and over again. And she said, stop sniffling. What kind of man are you? I don't know how pathetic you look. It's all right, no, I'm going to calm, calm. I said, how, how would it be for you to feel what you dish out every day? Oh, and she said, she said, stop it. <laughs> you don't want a wife, you never have. You don't want a mother, you want an owner. Someone to feed you, tickle you under the chin, someone you can cuddle up against like a Betty. You make my skin crawl. I said, how would it be if I hurt you over and over again the way you've been hurting me? Yeah. I mean, how would it be if I hit you back? And she said, oh, these are just words. They're just words. Because you... You couldn't, Joe. You wouldn't, Joe. You're not man enough to do that. No. She turned her back on me. No. She all packed up. Ready to go, even even the frying pan. I picked it up. I saw how appropriate those silent, silent breakfasts, dinners, teas, lumpy gravy that's and the sausages that stuck in my throat. You hit her. <laughs> 